Hey, it's your boy, Chango, coming at you with another video. This video is Bill Burr Steinway Tower, brought to you by Izzy So Dope. All right, so I looked at this one. It was on my feed, and I was checking to see if anybody's reacted to it. It doesn't look like it, so I might be the only one fucking reacting to this. Um, I kind of skipped around a little bit. It seems pretty entertaining, so I'm excited. Uh, let's get right into it. The world's skinniest skyscraper is complete and ready for residents. How can you not Look stare at that. at that? The Steinway Tower on West 57th Street has a height to width ratio of 24 to 1. I was watching the, I'm fascinated with these real estate videos. I was looking at um, the Steinway That's building. That's crazy in um new york city it said it looks like a fucking cigarette i don't even know how the thing stands up and they say that it moves it has to move like ridiculously with the wind so it doesn't fucking break in half and plunge to the ground that's why all tall buildings will sway in the wind different amounts depending on their height and their stiffness but wind is the force that buildings react to every skyscraper has to move it, if it's too stiff, it's actually more dangerous. It has to have flexibility in it. And the people that live in it say they hear all these crazy noises. Jesus the Nazarene. <sighs> Mary the whore, Mary the hairdresser, Mary the hairdresser, all father. Hey, lady, <laughs> shut up! <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? I think I'm good. Not like I can afford to live in that fucking place, but you know, you want to see what it looks like. If he can't afford to live there, I don't know who can. That's fucking wild. Let's carry on. What does it look like to be way the fuck oh, up there? Look at that view. So I watched this video. Look at that view. And this real estate agent, he kept saying, and over here, we, we have another corner moment. We have this nice corner moment here. He kept calling, because they had windows in the corner of the apartment. He was calling it a moment. We have over here, we have a corner moment. Corner and then moment. again, you have another corner moment. <laughs> now, if we go in here, we have a living room. These are like 76 foot, like, it was like 36 foot ceilings. It is 50 feet long. The ceilings are 14 feet high. 14 feet. So you have 14 foot panes of glass here, floor to ceiling. And, uh, and they got ceiling to floor fucking windows. I, it's some, one of the most terrifying places I've ever seen in my life. It was, you just <laughs> felt like <laughs> there wasn't a room in the place you couldn't commit suicide by simply <laughs> stepping outside. You know, crawling out the fucking window it was at, it was. I don't I don't like ceiling to floor windows when I'm I'm at a height where I could fall to my death. <laughs> I kind of realized that watching this thing. I like when they go up to your waist. So I mean, imagine if you fucking sleepwalk and you're in that fucking apartment. And I know you're not going to go through the window, but you bump into the window and then you just open your eyes like, ah! <laughs> That's... and you just collapse to the floor and you're rocking in a ball holding yourself just going i'm successful i am successful i'm successful <laughs> i need to keep this place so people know i'm successful I would so anyway he just kept talking he just kept going and then over here we have uh, and over here we have another corner moment and again we have another corner <laughs> moment here corner <laughs> moment i just you know one of my big regrets in life is that fucking corner i moment. didn't get into the corporate world just so I could be in the fucking meeting. Like, who comes up with it? Who says it? Do they get excited when they have some new fucking thing that they say like that? What is that? What am I talking about here, people? Synergy. <laughs> you know, like when white people hear, like, new black slang and then want to try it out on their white friends. <laughs> And just casually throw it out there so they can seem down. Are you going down? Do you remember that commercial late at night? I'm going down. And then the announcer goes, are you going down? I'm going down. Are you going down? Sessions presents R&B hits from the 90s. 
Are you getting Flashback. jiggy with it? With it? Do it on the down low, because nobody has to know. A corner moment, everybody. It's not the corner of the fucking room where the spiders are. It's a corner moment. And in this bathroom, we have one of those yet again corner <laughs> moments here. I mean, you're, like, you're having a corner moment. You should go over there and have some sort of emotional breakdown. <laughs> Is that where you go and cry? <laughs> When the stock market crashes and you have to leave. So this other guy was going like when I first and he sounded like he was orgasmic. Just the, the just the thought of selling this apartment and him getting the commission. So he'd get this windfall of money so he could go out and go buy a bunch of stupid shit he doesn't need. <laughs> hey pal, get a load of this. Huh? What do you think? I found it all in one shop from the shoes all the way up to this. This was made for Johnny Bench. He didn't pick up, so they gave it to me. A catcher's mask. <laughs> you know? Like a Rolex Daytona patinaed. <laughs> Here's something how dumb I am. No, no, I gotta finish this idea. So this fucking guy is just sitting there and he goes like, oh, I actually wrote it down. I always send these things to like Rachel Feinstein. She's like the person in my life that really seems to like I like her. On no idea who she is, but I like her. <laughs> Um, God, look at I that going? thing. I always send these things to uh, Rachel. Hang on one second. Where is it? Nice. Oh, fucking. I, you know, yeah. one of these days I'm going to learn how to use my phone. Oh, this is the opening line when the guy goes into the apartment. The, the, the penthouse apartment at the Steinway. He goes, he was trying to wrap his head around how unfucking believable <laughs> he thought this place was with its corner moments. And he goes, <laughs> the whole video opens up, he goes, when you live above sound. <laughs> you live above sound. <laughs> I was just like, you know, like when you, you look, you start to watch a movie and you're like, oh, man, this just the way it's shot, it looks good. You can just feel like, oh, this looks good. And then there's just this killer opening opening line of the movie. You're just like, oh, dude, I'm fucking in. Allora, come on, stay, Leone. Bene. Okay, okay. Let's talk business. The second I heard him say that, it was just like, I, I want to watch this guy barely controlling the level of saliva in his mouth as he talks <laughs> over oh, there. We have the pantry. <sighs> 42,000 ah, square nice. feet of granola <laughs> and flour. That view. Anyways, it's... it's um... And also, too, like, the level that corporations are just squeezing people right now. They're going to cause a fucking revolution, I'm telling you. The level that they're squeezing people and the amount of people that are working 40 hours a week Apple and they commercial. still they have a job and they still don't make enough money to survive. And this fucking guy is up there. He wants to live above the sound of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. First of all, there's no way you don't hear the wind whipping around. 1% problems. <laughs> it's like 0.1% problems. You're also at the, those fucking things are so tall. They actually, they are, they had to contact the FF, the FF, the FAA to build them. We have this nice corner moment here. <laughs> And then again, you have another corner moment. And again, we have another corner moment here. And in this bathroom, we have one of those yet again. Moment. Corner moments here. <laughs> Fucking corner moments. All right. So a little about me. So your boy Chango uh, was born and raised in the Chicago land area. So I have had a chance to get on top of some big ass skyscrapers and shit. And I gotta tell you, um, when you're up there, um, you can feel like the sway, right? 
like you like it's a little bit unsettling now i would imagine that some buildings sway more than others and corner moment or not if that shit's swaying too much man i don't know man like i might be a little uneasy right <laughs> like i was on the sears tower fucking john hancock building like I've, I've been on a few of those big big buildings right and i'm sure like in new york like that one um you know i don't think la has a lot of big towers houston maybe i don't know um new york and chicago really <clears throat> are really the only like cities that i know of in the u.s that have like huge skyscrapers right i mean I, there's other ones that have big buildings but not like that right um but uh i guess in the design process i'm sure some of those sway too a little bit so let me know in the comments if you would fucking crash at one of these places like what is an airbnb in one of these like ten thousand dollars a night or something crazy like, what do you have to do for a living to where you can afford to live there, right? Like, what is this? Like, $200 million, $300 million? Like, how much does a sick condo like that cost? And you're right next to Central Park. Like, you live literally, like, go down to the first floor and you walk outside and fucking Central Park's there. That is fucking sick, dude. That is so nice, right? Like... God, I can't even imagine. For those of you who've never been to Central Park, like it's fucking sick over there. And you can get lost in there. There's a lot of green space there. And to have that at your on your front doorstep, like that would be fucking amazing, right? But begs the question, if you had two hundred million dollars to spend in, on a house, right? Would you live there or would you have some big ass mansion? Um in Montana somewhere, <laughs> right? Or would you live somewhere else in Hawaii? Comment down below. I'm curious to see where you fucks would live with that kind of money, right? I'm sure someone that can afford that has also has a house in Hawaii, also has a house in Montana. I mean, because why the fuck not? When you got it like that, like you think they're making mortgage payments? I mean, maybe. I'm sure their accountant hasn't paid the minimum payment on it and then they invest the rest right not their economy but like their financial plan or whatever right yeah i don't know man shit's fucking nice i would not i mean i guess at that point when you're making when you're that rich does it really matter what you do with your money at that point i don't fucking know i'm not i, I don't know what it's like to have that kind of money right Logically speaking, I think it would be in your best interest to just make minimum payments and then just invest the rest of it, right? But at that level, I have no idea. That's just your boy Chango talking out of his ass. Um, Yeah, but I'm curious to see what you fucks would do with that kind of money, right? If you can only live in one place, right? What would you do with that? And don't tell me, oh, I would like spend $10 million on a house and then spend the rest of it on... no. If you had 200, 300 million dollars, whatever, where on earth would you live? Fuck it. Where on, where in the universe would you live? That kind of money, right? Anyways, I'm just rambling now. That's all I really got. You guys take care. Peace out.